What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, keeping cool. If you're in an area where it's very hot, the heat index here in Northeast Philadelphia on my weather station says 107 degree heat index today with a temperature of 96. Whew, it is very hot out. I've been out earlier. Don't intend on going back out. Welcome to the Friday edition of the Pandemic Update for Friday, July 28th, 2023. Starting off today, it's not a real busy news day. As you know, that could change later on. More stuff could come in this evening, like what we saw last Sunday night where I was alerted to a whole bunch of things after I said, oh, we're not doing an update today. So we'll see what happens later on today. But right now, just a few news stories to share with you. But we do have some data to look at that, hmm, not so good data. So let's just get through these few news stories first. India today recorded another 52 cases of COVID. And 1,455 active cases is their active case load right now. And their deaths are unchanged. 531,915 deaths. This I found last night. And I saw this on the local news last night. This is a local thing. Unvaccinated Montgomery County, Pennsylvania child tested positive for the measles, officials say. And I saw on the news they showed all of the different places that this person was at. One of them was a Costco's. There was a Walmart. I believe there was a mall this uh, child was in. So this is not good whatsoever. And uh, right now it says from July 20th, 2023 from 12 30 p.m. to 6 30 p.m. They were at the Bryn Mawr Hospital emergency room for those who do not are not familiar with my area Bryn Mawr that is on the main line of uh, Our region which is just outside of Philadelphia. So uh, yeah, that's uh, relatively concerning It does list all the different places like I said a Costco's a Walmart and a whole bunch, even a children's hospital uh, emergency department out in King of Prussia. So that's uh, interesting as well. Then we find ourselves with this, have to do with uh, H5N1. And Norway, Finland, battle a rapid spread of bird flu. And this is just pretty much reiterating, pretty much emphasizing something that we know is already an ongoing issue around the world. Now, bird flu is really... It's really taken off from animals to animals. We don't see human to human transmission yet, but it's something I'm constantly keeping an eye on because could it be the next big thing? There's always a chance that it could be. Right now, COVID is still the dominating big thing that is going on. All right, let's take a look at these air quality values for today. That's it for the news. I told you there's not much news today. Trust me, we'll have a whole bunch of news for you tomorrow. I'll make that up to you. Um, taking a look here at the air quality values, we do see there is a little bit more yellow in the west today. But parts of the Four Corners region not doing too bad. A lot of yellow and orange in the east. You have the heat. You have some of that wildfire smoke mixed in. You just have generally poor air quality in the summer months. And this year has been, trust me, this year has been worse than normal. I'd say the worst in the country right now is in the Northeast on a widespread basis. West Coast, you do have a couple isolated areas that are pretty bad. If you want to talk more or if you want to find out more about air quality or maybe how the climate impacts your health or just climate in general, I have another channel where I do just that called Climate Data Report. That's where I talk about all things climate. The reason why we bring it up here is because such as air qualities, you know, climate does affect our health it can't like the heat today it's causing heat stroke dehydration and a whole slew of other things shortness of breath that's a big one so yes i do have at climate data report walgreens this week did upgrade with the current positivity nationally at 37.4 percent the prior week was 33.9 percent that's a difference of up 3.5 percent 1,865 tests this week. The prior week was 1,905. Let's just take a look at a couple states. There's a few that are super concerning. New Jersey was one of them. 26.3% this week. Prior week, 19.1%. That's a difference of 7.2% up. Uh, 57 tests versus 47. Then we come down here to Texas. And Texas was concerning as well. 39.5%. This week, 34.2% last week. That's a difference of up 5.4%. Yes, testing's down, 301 versus 325. But we know from Texas data that Texas is currently on the rise. Let's do 
one more state. How about right here in Oregon? What's going on with Oregon? Oregon, 15.8% positivity this week, 17.6% last week. Difference of down 1.9%, 19 tests versus 17. That is a legitimate drop. All right, Biobot Wastewater. I don't even need to zoom into six weeks. I will zoom into six weeks. Total results. You can see it now. Wastewater is rising in all regions of the country. Wastewater is rising. Let's move, zoom into six months. Look at that. A little more noticeable for you now? Yes. There is a significant rise going on in wastewater across the United States. The biggest rise seen since the winter holidays. And we come down to six weeks. You can see it. It's just going upward. I mean, it's, it's not good, my friends. We don't like to see wastewater rising. That means the prevalence of COVID is increasing. Alrighty, going to move myself to the left, left now. We will have the full wastewater update on Sunday. And I think here going forward, wastewater is going to probably be our only video on Sundays. We may add one or two news stories within that. So we may try to, you know, while we're not going to do pandemic updates, I think, on Sundays anymore, we're going to add stuff within that video. Again, the key is I'm trying to eliminate doing two videos in one day. That's just too much. If we can just add these, and if you know some of these videos have gone longer, if we can add more stuff into one video, that's fantastic. So uh, taking a look at wastewater here, you can see here, and even without looking at these numbers on the right, uh, just look at the map. There's more orange. There's more red. Yeah, it's increasing. It's increasing. So let's go over these numbers. New sites, 110. Uh, 0 to 19% COVID detected. That's in the dark blue. 30, or excuse me, 476. 20 to 39%. That's 441. 40 to 59%. That's moderate. 230 sites. That's increased quite a bit. Uh, 60 to 79%. That's 74 sites. That's increased quite a bit. And unfortunately, 80 to 100%. That's really high COVID detected. Yes, that's increased quite a bit. And Look where the highest prevalence of that is for both the orange and red. It's in the it's on the eastern U.S. in the northeast. I'm seeing red just looking at this map in my area. I'm not. I don't like seeing that. That's telling me that things are rising. What else is rising? Let's take a look at emergency department visits. Weekly percent of COVID-19 emergency department visits is at uh, 0.8% which is up 0.2% from last week. Change in COVID-19 emergency department visits from prior week. Yeah, they're up 17.4%. That's not good at all. COVID-19 hospital admissions the past week, 7,109. And coming down here, you can see these yellow ones. That's stable. That's okay. These green ones and darker green color, that's dropping. But all this orange and darker orange, Moderate to substantial rises in COVID-19 emergency department visits. And almost every region of the country has states where emergency department visits are rising. Only four states, if you include Puerto Rico, did not report their emergency department visit numbers. And look at this. Yes, you can see the southeast and even parts of the northeast. Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, not too bad, but... Take a look at this. These dark orange. There's a lot of states with substantial uh, COVID-19 emergency department visit increases. That's not good to see. All right, let's move on. I don't think we have anything today in this day in pandemic history. I searched the page. Didn't come up with anything. Taking a look at dominating variants. And we know the XBB116 variant does dominate now. It's at 14.8%. That's not going to last all that long. EG.5 is at 11.4%. We will get a new update on this next week. That may be the one video uh, or the one day where we have to do two things in one day. I still would like to keep the uh, variant proportion update going because I think that is important. We'll see. Maybe I incorporate it within a pandemic update. We'll see what happens there. It's only every other week. All right, let's take a look at a few of those wastewater sites now around the country that report on other things. Because I often get the comment, people talking about flu, this and that about flu. And I'm here to show you it's summertime. There's not much flu to be had right now. Let's take a look at Bangor, Maine. We haven't looked there in a while. So COVID-19, and full disclaimer, these sites here on this website do update faster and more frequently than the CDC website. So up in Bangor, Maine, you can see here, last update on July 26, it was rising for COVID. Here's your flu numbers, influenza. It's not there right now. 
Then we come down here and we take a look at RSV and we can see RSV at this time not being detected. HMPV is not an issue at this time. Monkeypox not being detected. And then we come over here and take a look at norovirus and norovirus at this time is dropping. Let's take a look at another wastewater site. So we'll do a couple more. This is in the northeast. How about we go into the south? What's going on? Let's go down to Columbus, Georgia. What's going on there? Coronavirus, it has been rising. Influenza, not detected. RSV, not an issue. HMPV, not an issue. Mpox, as it's called now. i got to start saying Mpox. I can't say monkeypox anymore. Mpox is not being detected. Norovirus, it's there, but at low levels and dropping at this time. Let's continue on. We'll do one more. How about we come out here to Las Vegas? What's going on in Las Vegas? And we see here SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus is rising, influenza not being detected, RSV not being detected, HMPV not being detected, and Mpox is not being detected, and norovirus, it's there, but it's dropping at this time. Alrighty, moving on now, let's take a look at New Jersey. New Jersey today reports 209 hospitalizations, 4 people in a ventilator, in the ICU, uh, 21 people in the ICU. And let's take a look at discharges. Discharges are at 24, and 68 out of 70 hospitals did report. Again, that 209 hospitalization number, that is a rising number, and that's with two hospitals not reporting, so that is not good to see. Taking a look at this, totals, daily totals for Thursday, July 27th, 2023, for Philadelphia. We're crossing the river now. We're taking a look at how many EMS visits or how many EMS incidents there have been in my city, 805. If you know of a city that tweets out daily numbers, or maybe they post it on a website, their daily EMS incidents, let me know down below. I would love to be able to report on more than just Philadelphia, but is what it is for the time being. Let's take a look at a live look in at what's going on in the suburbs. And you can see 11 incidents right now in Montgomery County. We have a few respiratory difficulties. I'm seeing three of them, a diabetic, a uh, stroke, ooh, shooting, that's not good, heat exhaustion. So, yes, there are a few things going on, but we seem busier earlier in the week. Remember the day there were 23 incidents? Yeah, so not as bad as you expect for a day that is currently 96 degrees outside. Uh, Chester County, we do see quite a few things here, and I'm seeing several that say sick person. I'm seeing three of them, seeing strokes. So, yes, not a good day in Chester County, or at least at this very moment. Moving on now, let's take a look at New York State. New York State had less cases today than yesterday. That's good news. 586 new cases. 9.3% positivity today. The seven-day average is 9%. So positivity pretty much didn't change too much despite less cases. But remember, at-home test, reinfections, and people that don't bother to get tests are not factored into this. And unfortunately, as we look at hospitalizations, Yes, I have to show you that. Hospitalizations in New York State, they're continuing their rise now. You can clearly see it on this chart. Hospitalizations are on the rise in New York State, as are hospital admissions. Look at this on a statewide level. Yeah, admissions and hospitalizations going up, that's not good. And here is the actual hospitalization number. 548 people in the hospital, 58 people in the ICU. Let's take a look at New York City. Hey, how about that? It didn't refresh on us today. And New York City here, ugh, this is not good. The New York City rise is actually starting to pick up the pace. 229 people in the hospital in New York City, 20 people in the ICU, and let's take a look at the missions there. By the way, this is the last update we'll see from New York State until again next week. We will repeat these numbers tomorrow. Maybe we'll take a look at a couple other regions tomorrow in New York State as well. And wow, look at the emissions in New York City. It is going vertical now, my friends. It's really going up quickly. I don't like seeing that. You shouldn't like seeing that because that means that things are not doing well. Alrighty, going to move myself back to the right and let's just briefly take a look at Texas. We're repeating these numbers, but it's worth repeating because if someone should view this video from Texas, maybe they don't know that what's going on in their state. Maybe they don't realize, hey, wait a second, I live in Texas. Wow, my state's rising? I didn't know that. 
course you wouldn't know that. Your news does not report on it. The news has stopped reporting on COVID. That's why I'm here to take on the job. Current week, 9,324 cases. Previous week, 5,499. That's an increase of 3,825. The only good news out of Texas is fatalities are down 13 versus 19. That's down by 6. Hospitalizations, 687 versus 592. Yes, they went up by 95, and your average hospitalizations is 635 versus 589. That's up by 46. So, yes, not good news out of Texas, except for the deaths did start dropping. Uh, let's take a look at a little bit of an international update here. And I'm going to refresh just to make sure it's up to date. Around the world, cases are down 41%. Deaths are down 37%. Uh, Brazil, cases are down 22%. Deaths are down 28%. Australia, cases down 4%. Deaths are up 60%. Hong Kong. Yes, we haven't talked about Hong Kong in a while. Cases are now up 50%. 1,309 cases versus 871. And let's just do a few more. Israel up 3% on cases. Romania up 20% on cases. Bangladesh cases now down 9%. India technically is up 31% on cases. We did see a few days where the active case lows did rise. And we'll end today on Switzerland where cases are up 24%. Alrighty, that does it for the COVID portion of our update. Let's just briefly take a look at flu, shall we? For all my uh, friends that like to, I don't know if they're friends, but all my lovely commenters that like to say, why don't you talk about flu? Flu's bad too. You see all this green on the map? All this lovely green. Look at this. Flu right now is minimal. Could you still get flu? Yes, there's always a chance you could get the flu. But right now, it's minimal. If we go back to Biobot, again, COVID's rising. Flu is not an issue right now. The COVID threat right now is real. We're entering the weekend. More risky behaviors usually occur on the weekend. People go out to eat. People go out to parties, barbecues, uh, movies, Barbenheimer. You know, that's going on right now. We'll talk about that tomorrow. We, I, there's something I'm going to share with you about that tomorrow. But uh, more risky behavior happens. Weddings, all these different things I just mentioned. So please, if you're going to go out this weekend, please practice COVID safety and be safe. That's what it's all about. Alrighty, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. If you know anyone that needs a refresher or a reminder that the pandemic's not over and that COVID is still out there and infecting people at a higher rate now than it did just a month ago, by all means, share this with them. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone.